Welcome back everyone. As Hurricane Ian strengthens with a path towards Florida, state officials are urging all of us to prepare for possible post storm insurance claims. Agency owner of We Insure Group, Sean Way, joins us this morning. Appreciate you coming in and you said if you need to call your agent today is probably the last day and even the last hours to do so. That's correct, Mel. Uh, right now carriers will start shutting down, not allowing any new business or changes to policies. So right now at this moment is a really good time to contact your agent, uh, have your insurance company, your policy number, as well as the telephone number for the claims department for your particular agency. And it's very important that you review your coverages because a lot of clients will make changes when they're buying their home and they forget to put coverages back in place. So it's important that you go over that with your agent right now to make sure you have the right coverage in place. Anything in particular that you really should be looking for to make sure you have, you know, the maximum coverage or maybe scale back a little bit in some areas? At this point, no. The main thing, that you, replacement costs on your personal property is one of the things you want to look at. Another thing that I highly recommend to all of my clients is that if flood insurance is available, add that to your policy, and I like to use the 50 mile rule. Okay. In 2017, Hurricane Harvey devastated Houston. Well, Houston is about 50 miles from the coast of Galveston. 50 miles from Jack's Beach is out past McClenny. Right, oh wow, so yeah, it, people who wouldn't think that they would need it, so exactly. it's definitely something to consider. I think, you know, remembering downtown, when all right. that water came rushing through, a lot of those folks were not prepared because they had never really, that never happened to them before. All right, so things that we need to make sure are in our plastic bags, covered, yes. safe from water. What are those documents people need to gather now? Well, all important documents. Any items that are low lying in your home, if you're in a flood area, you want to get those items elevated, put in bags. As uh, far as important papers such as wills, life insurance policies, your homeowner's policy primarily, and have that ready in the event that you have to evacuate and leave your home. Yeah, you don't want to be searching for that stuff if no. you're, especially even in an uncomfortable situation. Also, we take selfies all the time, so why not take shots of our items that are most precious to us? Exactly, exactly. Videotape or take photos of your home the way it is right now. Any trees that might be around your home, get those trimmed back. Any items that be could become airborne and cause damage to your home or the surrounding homes, get those items secured as well. Or anything else you think people need to know just as they're preparing? I mean, this is the first one for us. And, you know, the governor also concerned that people have just moved to Florida. And right. this is a brand new experience for them. Exactly. And for those people that have just moved here, one of the most important things would be is to identify your evacuation routes and to take that serious. Right. When our uh, emergency preparedness team starts to let us know it's time to evacuate, don't wait to stick around because you put you tax the resources that are going to be here to help clean up. Now they have to come in and try to help you. So if they say it's time to go, go ahead and yeah, get out. Go. And any concerns about carriers leaving? I know that's always an issue here in Florida. Um, you know, make sure you actually do have insurance that you think you do. And right. then after the storm, it's kind of that up in the air thing for the season. And again, right now will be a chance for you to check and make sure you do have <laughs> coverage in place. Contact your agent. Today is probably going to be the last day that you have a chance to do that. But in terms of carriers that are leaving the state, one of the great things about being independent agents here in the state of Florida is we do have options to make sure you are covered. And agents have been working around the clock mm -hmm. to make sure their clients are taken care of. Yeah, and this work goes how far after the storm hits. I mean, that's when you really get busy and yeah. have to start talking to folks and seeing what they may lost, may have lost and what they need. Exactly. Yeah. All right, Sean, thank you so much for coming in. Hopefully that's helpful to people and hopefully we won't have any major issues, but if we do, be prepared. Thank you. Thank you.